place to put your money, 102,000% APY, or is it a complete scam and the worst place to put your money and most likely to lose your money? I think partially right at the start, I will say the clue is in the name. Titano is only two letters different from Titanic, and that didn't end well. But let's actually look at the specific details uh, of what is happening here. This is essentially replacing what used to be called HYIPs, High Yield Investment Programs, which was not really the right name to give it. It was a fancy name given by scammers uh, to high yield investment programs where they would pay a daily or weekly percentage return, which in short means they are nothing more than a Ponzi pyramid scheme where they're paying out earlier investors based on later investors' money. Now, what Titano Finance and numerous others have done, they've now taken this onto the blockchain and they're using uh, the, the fancy speak of blockchain and smart contracts to say, well, look, you know, we can't control this. This is clearly not a scam. Uh, people can make money from this. And indeed, early investors, and I use the word investor very lightly here with Titano, early investors could probably have made a, a very healthy return on their money if they weren't locked in, if they didn't get over greedy and reinvest more, uh, because that's the reason why you'd be in there in the first place. So very few people in reality would actually make money with Titano, except for the developers and the people running the scam. And I'm going to call it a scam here at this point very directly. Now let's have a look at some other further information we have on Titano Finance. If we look at DAP Radar, we get some uh, really good information here. We can see the number of users over the last, well, since uh, mid-April, early April, number of users has been declining. The volume uh, has been declining as well. Uh, so not looking healthy on that front. But when we look at the actual smart contract, uh, and so we can uh, get that information here from Titano Smart Contracts, uh, there's the detail of their smart contract. If we go to BSC uh, Scan, so bscscan.com, put in the smart contract, so OXBA967, etc. We can see, because this is on the blockchain, it does make it very transparent. It doesn't mean it's legal, it just means it's transparent. And transparency, when you look at the analytics, you can look at the BNB balance, the amount of money that is in this contract. And we can see that on the 14th of February, 16th of February, the balance, the black line here, um, dropped from a high there of 1,000 BNB um, balance in that smart contract, dropped to zero. It ramps up again, it drops again to zero, and that's the 9th of March, Wednesday 9th of March, then Friday the 18th of March again drops to zero, and then just recently we've had it go from the 20th of April through to the 21st of April, where again it dropped down to just $475 in that smart contract. Essentially what I think that means there is that the developers are withdrawing vast sums of money uh, to go and put that into their own wallets to run off with that money. That's the transparency of uh, this section in Analytics BNB Binance. Uh, so if you're thinking of putting money into Titano, I would strongly recommend you don't. If we go to coinmarketcap.com, we can see that this is no longer tracked. Market data is untracked. And that, again, is a massive red warning sign. There's currently 43,000 people who had this on their watch list. There are lots of other variants of Titano Finance. It's, um, there are Titano Forks, where they're basically using the same smart contract, which essentially, like I said earlier, is a very simple Ponzi scheme where it pays out to earlier investors.